gentleman from Nebraska is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the gentlelady from Florida for the time, but also for your good words earlier. Mr. Speaker, the selfless love inherent in adoption shows the remarkable capacity of the human heart to strengthen a fractured world, one child in need at a time. And I am very glad that Congress today is taking the time to honor adoption. I must add, however, that I am very disheartened that a bill to help Haitian orphans, which has passed this House, as the gentlelady from Florida said, and passed the Senate with amendments, has now been abandoned in secret meetings by this body's leadership. The Help Haiti Act helps 1,200 Haitian orphans who were in the process of being adopted before the tragic earthquake hit that country. We could have passed this on Monday, and it could be law by now. Yet now I understand that this bipartisan Help Haiti Act may be used as a vehicle for a controversial immigration measure for which there is no consensus in this body nor across America. While these vulnerable Haitian orphans' legal status remains in limbo, they have fewer legal protections, they may not be eligible for critical resources, and they may be at risk to being returned to Haiti. Now, surely we can act to solve this problem free of partisan provocation. So, Mr. Speaker, I say this. These poor children and their heroic American families deserve better than what we're giving them today. I yield back to the gentlelady from Florida. Gentleman